The S&P 500 edged up Tuesday as investors assessed the health of the consumer following weak retail sales data. The broad market index rose less 0.2%, while the Nasdaq composite teetered below break-even. The Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 10 points. Retail sales rose 0.1% in May, versus the 0.2% growth forecast by economists polled by Dow Jones. Sales rose 2.3% on a year-over-year -year basis. Stock prices are going up without the help of rate cuts because corporate profits and the economy continue to expand," said Chris Zaccarelli, chief investment officer at Independent Advisor Alliance. Without the consumer, this bull market is going to stall out, so investors need to see more consumer spending and not a material slowdown, which this report could be indicating. Treasury yields fell following the retail sales report cushioning stock prices a bit with investors hoping for some economic slowing to spur the Federal Reserve to cut rates. NVIDIA continued its march toward record-setting highs, gaining about 1%. Some semiconductor stocks rose in sympathy, with Qualcomm and Taiwan Semiconductor last up at least 3% each. Micron Technology gained 6%. Those moves follow a positive session on Wall Street that propelled the S&P and Nasdaq to all-time highs and record-closing levels. 36 S&P 500 stocks were hitting fresh highs on Tuesday, including a spate of semiconductor stocks that continued their recent outperformance. LAM Research and Micron advanced more than 1% and 5%, respectively. Qualcomm shares gained more than 3%. Other notable names were consumer names such as Walmart, as well as burrito chain Chipotle Mexican Grill and big box store Costco. Energy stocks gained on Tuesday as oil prices rose. The sector was also the best performer in the S&P 500, last up 1.5% on the day. SLB and Valero Energy led the gains, adding more than 2% each. Occidental Petroleum, ExxonMobil, Marathon Petroleum, and EOG Resources edged up at least 1%. Stocks open little changed on Tuesday. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 18 points, or 0.07%. The S&P 500 inched up 0.05%, while the Nasdaq Composite hovered near the flatline. Broadcom shares gained another 1.5% before the bell, attempting to build on a 5.4% rally from Monday that brought the chipmaker to new highs. Shares have climbed steadily since the company topped quarterly estimates and announced a 10-4-1 stock split last week. The stock rallied 23% during the trading week and is up about 64% year-to-date. Other chip-making stocks also gained in the pre-market, with Qualcomm and Micron Technology last up about 3% each. U.S.-listed shares of Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing rose 1.2%, while artificial intelligence darling NVIDIA added 0.2%. Retail sales expanded 0.1% in May from the previous month, a weaker-than-expected gain that signals some weakness in the consumer. Economists polled by Dow Jones expected growth of 0.2%. EV maker Fisker filed for bankruptcy late Monday after a major cash spin to deliver its Ocean SUVs. Like other companies in the electric vehicle industry, we have faced various market and macroeconomic headwinds that have impacted our ability to operate efficiently, founder Henrik Fisker said in a statement early on Tuesday. European markets opened higher Tuesday, following a mixed start to the trading week. The Pan-European Stocks 600 Index was up 0.68% in early deals, with all sectors and major bourses trading in the green. The UK's FTSE Index was up 0.56% at 8,187, Germany's DAX up 0.67% at 18,188, France's CAC 40 up 0.65% at 7,620 and Italy's FTSE MIB up 1.07% at 33,253. The market could have a pivotal moment in a few weeks as earnings start to roll in, according to Dan Niles of Niles Investment Management. Niles said market participants feel a fear of missing out on artificial intelligence. But he said there is going to be harder questions about return on investments in the technology for companies to answer during the next earnings season. In a few weeks, we're going to come to a Jesus moment, he said on CNBC's Fast Money. That can help bring broadening to the market rally, he said. This is because traders will look more critically at what businesses will be long-term winners from the tech. Not every company is NVIDIA, Niles said. Since its recent low in late October 2023, 
the Nasdaq Composite has soared 41.77% through Monday's close. By contrast, the S&P 500 has climbed 32.93% from its October closing low, while the Russell 2000 Index of small-cap stocks has risen 23.52%. The Dow Joe